April 12, 2017, Wednesday of Holy Week. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue, that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm The response is, Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons. Because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor. And his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered, and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him, one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. April 12th, Wednesday of the Holy Week. The first reading is from Isaiah 50, 4 to 9a. This is the third of the Songs of the Suffering Servant, those four poems that are contained in the second part of the prophet Isaiah, which speak about a mysterious figure who will be a messenger from God. This messenger has a well-trained tongue. He's able to speak to the weary. He's able to open ears so that they might hear. But in spite of the fact that he proclaims the word of God, he's attacked violently. And his response to that attack is that he trusts in the Lord. He believes that the word of God cannot be quenched. Therefore, he's not afraid of what people do to him. He says, the Lord God is my help. 
who will prove me wrong? We have to remember that when we proclaim the word of God, either by word or action, will not always be accepted by the people. Sometimes, in fact, when we try to live the word of God, we'll be rejected because the people interpret what we're doing as trying to be holier than them, trying to be hypocritical. We have to have the courage to do what is right, even if it costs us. The gospel is from Matthew 26, 14 to 25. And this is the story of the betrayal of Jesus by Judas. In fact, in the Orthodox tradition, during Lent they fast not only on Fridays, but also on Wednesdays. Wednesday, Spy Wednesday, the day that Jesus was betrayed by Judas. And so they commemorate that fact that the author of life was betrayed on this day. In this version, in the Gospel of Matthew, Judas is given 30 pieces of silver. Now, some people look for a symbolic reason for the 30 pieces. It's possible that he was simply given that amount of money, that no symbolism is intended. There is a passage that says that if one servant is gored by an ox, then the owner of the ox owes the person 30 pieces of silver. But that doesn't really seem to fit. Jesus has the meal prepared, and during the meal, he indicates that the one who will betray him is the one who dipped his hand into the dish with him. As opposed to the version in the Gospel of John where it's very specific that Judas is that one, here it's a little bit more ambiguous that it could simply mean somebody who's sitting around the table with me because in a sense they all dipped their hands into that salt water with a morsel of bread. It was part of the ceremony of the Last Supper. It only becomes more specific when Judas specifically says, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. And Jesus answered, You have said so. Jesus indicts Judas with his own words. And may God bless us.